what is going on slump busters this is your boy kyle and we are back with another youtube quick hitter it is the final five to six days of the major league baseball season and wildcard games are going to be interesting this year but leading up to wildcard we actually have a couple of interesting things to sort out here so i wanted to go through some of these clinching scenarios with y'all just in case you've been like me and you've been slacking on baseball a little bit leading into this week. So the big storyline this week is going to be the Dodgers and the San Francisco Giants. They are the two best teams in the National League with respect to the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, but by record, they are the two best teams in the National League. And the Dodgers throughout the year have been regarded as the best team in baseball. They've got one of the lowest ERAs of any team in the history of baseball among their starting pitching staff. And their lineup goes about seven to eight deep. And Cody Bellinger is a former MVP, and he might not even get to make the postseason roster for the Dodgers. That's how good their lineup is. Now, Cody Bellinger has been struggling, but still. The Dodgers are really, really good. And the Giants have been a team that from top to bottom has been about above average. Like every player on their team is hard to get out. Even the Darren Ruffs, and the Alex Dickersons, and the Lamont Wade Juniors of the team, it's really hard to get them out. Now, they do have a fractured wrist situation from Brandon Belt, which could threaten them going into the playoffs, but the Giants do have a little bit of an easier road going into the postseason. They play the struggling San Diego Padres to finish the season, of course, but before that, the San Francisco Giants also play the Diamondbacks, so they don't play any more playoff teams the rest of the year. The Dodgers have a similar type stretch so far where they get the Padres coming up here. Both teams are firmly in the playoffs, but the problem for the Dodgers is that they have to gain two games in six days on the San Francisco Giants. More semantics than anything else, but I think both teams would like to avoid the one game playoff. Brewers are gonna be the two seed. Atlanta Braves are probably going to be the three seed. I know the Phillies are sneaking up right behind them at this point. It's not a lock, but it's looking like the Atlanta Braves, even without Ronald Acuna Jr., are going to get in. They're two and a half games up with five and a half to play right now, and the Phillies play the Braves this week. So if Atlanta wins two out of three games, they will clinch that division. If they win one out of three, it opens the door for Philadelphia once again. So Atlanta the three, Milwaukee the two, they'll play in the playoffs. In the American League, Tampa Bay is going to be the one seed. That's already locked in stone. The Astros and the White Sox are the two and three seeds right now. The Astros are the two by two games on the White Sox. The Astros do have to play Tampa Bay this week, which is a scenario where they could slip up a bit while the Chicago White Sox don't play any more playoff teams the rest of the season. The difference there between the Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros is they'll play each other no matter what, but whoever would host a game five realistically comes down to who can clinch this week. And for about four months, we've been anticipating the White Sox and Astros playoff series. It's personally my favorite, unless we're going to get a Dodgers Giants series, of course. But I've been waiting four months to watch this White Sox Astros series. And now we get to decide who's going to play at home or away in the two versus three. And then in the uh, American League wild card. Whew. It is a lot to follow here. So we're just going to like try and make this as simple as possible. New York Yankees are right now the four seed. They're one game ahead of the five seed, which is the Boston Red Sox, who are one game ahead of the six seed, which is the Toronto Blue Jays. Five will play four in the wild card format. So right now, Boston would travel to New York to play each other in the playoffs. Now, Toronto is one game back of Boston and two games back of the Yankees, but Toronto plays the New York Yankees for three games this week. At the time of recording, the game is tied one to one in the third inning. So I don't know what happens afterwards. Uh, maybe we'll figure out afterwards whether or not Toronto gains a game or not, but Boston is beating up on the Baltimore Orioles right now. So Boston, by winning the first game of that series, will move up to a game and a half. If Toronto loses to the Yankees, they'll fall two games back and the Yankees will stay one game ahead of Boston. And if the Blue Jays win on Tuesday against the Yankees, we have a three-way tie for two spots in the American League wildcard. 
One game behind Toronto is the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners have about a 10% chance of making the playoffs. So I'll say that for the purposes of this, the Mariners are effectively eliminated. They could get in with about a 10, 11% chance and Oakland, a game behind them has about a four to 3% chance. But for the time being, we're going to say both of those teams are effectively eliminated at this point. It's really a three horse race for the American League playoff. And the reason that's the case is because they're all in the same division. And so they play each other a bunch to finish the season. Toronto playing the Yankees right now, of course. And then Toronto's going to play the Orioles on the weekend series. Boston is going to play the Nationals, which should be a winnable series for them. The Yankees. They get a lovely matchup against Tampa Bay, which is going to be really, really interesting to finish off the season. But for the case of all three of those teams, their best opportunities come in the next three days. For Boston, it's three games against the Orioles. And for the Yankees and Blue Jays, it's a chance to play each other and with a sweep or a two out of three win, effectively knocking one team out, or in the case of the Blue Jays, closing that gap that presently exists in the wild card race. Make sure to check out the Slump Buster podcast on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever it is that you get podcasts. Make sure to check out me over on Take It Easy as well. On Wednesday, we have an oral history of the Detroit Lions dropping. You can check that out as well. Search up Take It Easy podcast and comical sports memes. And make sure to check out the Caveman Coffee Company and use that promo code SLUMP in the episode description here today to get some of your cold brew lattes like I have here. I've got about 10 of them down here, actually. So thanks for stopping in, everybody. And we'll talk to you again soon.